hello guys welcome back to my channel thank you for always stopping by liking commenting and subscribing for the new ones don't forget to like comment subscribe turn on notification bell so that you'll be notified on when i drop updates on this is fit stay tuned on today's episode karen and Vishap go to help sharia they find a bunch of people scolding sharia sharia asks the man to return the car keys karen asks what is happening sharia tells he will handle the matter the man complains about Shuria that he ran over them in his car and they would die because of his careless driving. Karan asks Shuria to shut up. He asks the man what happened to them. The man tells that Shuria drove over their house. If they were sleeping inside the hut, then they would have died by getting crushed by his car. He tells that Shuria has put their lives in danger. Karan feels sorry. Shuria asks why the people are sleeping on the roadside. Karan lectures him. He angrily rebukes him for making such a big mistake and tells he has ruined their houses. He asks Shuria to apologize to them. Shuria says sorry. Karan asks him to say it louder. Bishop apologizes and tells he would pay for the loss. He takes Shuria with him. Karan apologizes to them and tells that he would make new homes for them and compensate for his son's mistake. The people thank Karan Lutra. D. Karan Lutra. Karan goes to Shuria. Rishab asks Shuria to calm down. Shuria tells that Karan scolded and insulted him in front of everyone, that he hates Karan. Rishab asks him not to worry. Such things keep happening in life. Karan asks the manager to shift those poor people in their low budget housing complex. He doesn't want the poor people to sleep on the road. He is disappointed with Shuria. He asks him to arrange houses for them as soon as possible. He asks Rishab what he would say now. He tells that he would be the best businessman, but he is a field father. He can't handle Shodia and can't understand him. He gets angered. Ishab asks him to calm down. Karan asks him not to calm him. He asks where Shuria is. Ishab tells him he has sent Shuria home. Karan tells that Nidhi should teach some manners, values, and kindness to Shuria. Ishab tells that it's Shuria's age to fly, so let him fly. He reminds Karan of his young days. Karan tells he wasn't irresponsible and careless like Shuria. Ishab asks him to calm his mind. Prita and Rajve bought the bus. She tells the treaty and she used to stay in Mumbai. She adds that she used to practice physiotherapy. She doesn't remember when Shruti got married and got a son. Rajvi feels sad. He remembers Shruti's words. Prita tells that Shruti has given him to her. She feels at peace and secure when he is with her. She tells he would protect her from every problem and she is sure of this. He promises her. She tells that she doesn't understand what she's saying. She thinks a lot of him and he is her son. He gets happy. He knows he is her son. So she finds him so affectionate. He wants to make the Lutras pay for their mistakes. He thinks he's going to Mumbai with the motive to ruin his dad and get justice for his mom. The boss leaves. Brita tells him that Mumbai is a city of dreams. He likes to see her positive. She asks if he's excited to go there. He tells him he has a big dream and he will not return until his dream gets fulfilled. She tells all his dreams will get fulfilled. He tells he got his mom's blessing now and his dreams will get fulfilled. She tells that her blessings are always with him. He wants revenge on Karan. Karan calls Nidhi and asks her if Shuria has come home. She asks what's the matter. She tells that Shuria didn't come. He tells that Shuria isn't acting humanly. He asks her to explain to Shuria who just listened to her. He tells that Shuria should be at home and he shouldn't go anywhere. She asks about the matter. He tells her that Shuria driving over the poor people's houses on the roadside, that if any life was harmed, then Shuria would have landed in jail. She assures that she would talk to Shuria. She calls Shuria. He asks what Hitler tell, told her if he wants her to lock him at home. She tells that his dad isn't a Hitler. She adds that she will always support him. She tells that Karan will be angry until he gets busy with his work. She asks him to avoid Karan. Shuria tells that he loves her more than his real mom Prita. He insults Raki for always lecturing him. He tells that he loves Nidhi a lot. Nidhi tells she loves him too. She asks him to take care. Raki overhears them and wishes for a miracle to happen. But Prita returns to take care of the family. Prita falls asleep. Rajvi gets emotional when he hears a lady talking to her baby. The lady tells that a mother gets much peace 
when the child calls her ma. He wants to call Prita his ma and give her peace. He tells her Prita is a complete woman. She was married to Karan. She was a good wife and a good barrel and they didn't deserve a good person like Prita. He doesn't forgive Karan who has snatched his right to call Prita his mom. He asks Karan to be prepared because he is coming to ruin him. He wants Prita to get her respect back. Surya is with his friends. He remembers Karan's words and gets drunk. His friends drive. He asks if they are going to Shuria's farmhouse. Shuria hits Karan and Prita and asks for a beer. His friend tells they would stop at a nearby Daba and buy as much beer as he wants. Rajvi and Prita get down at the Daba when the boss halts there for some hour. Rajvi asks Prita to go inside. He will go to the washroom and come. Sandy drives Shuria to the same Daba. Shuria tells that the Daba isn't his type. He doesn't think he should go inside. He tells him it's good to sit back in the jeep. He asks Sandy to go and get the bear. Rakit tells Nidhi that she had everything that Nidhi and Shuria were talking about. Nidhi tells that she is aware of this. Rakit asks her if she's happy that Shuria loves her more than Prita. She tells her Nidhi should have told Shuria that Prita is also important. She had a reason and she was helpless to leave her alone. She isn't alive and that's the reason she isn't with Shuria. She cries for Prita and asks Nidhi why she didn't teach Shuria to love his mother. She knows Nidhi has raised Shuria with much love. She tells her Shuria listens to Nidhi so she should explain to him. She tells Nidhi that it's her duty. Nidhi tells she will talk to her clearly. She asks what problem Raki has with her and why Raki is jealous when Shuria loves her and calls her Ma. She asks why she can't see Shuria listening to her. Raki tells her Shuria loves her only because she agrees with him in all manners, that Nidhi supports him in wrong things, but the family doesn't support him when he does wrong. She feels Nidhi loves him so much to avoid being called a stepmother. She asks her to balance things and love Shuria, teach him discipline. Nidhi calls her sentimental. She tells her Prita give birth to Shuria, and she is thankful to Prita, but Shuria is her son now. She has raised him and spoiled him too.